So here we are with my newest cell design. It's an 11 plate design. There's variable gaps uh, for uh, better amperage distribution across the cell. We have 11 plates. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. And we've got it wrapped in a heat shrink to keep the voltage in the, from being lost in the water around the cell. So you want as much current to stay in the cell as possible. I have put electrical, uh, liquid electrical tape on anything that's not in the cell so when it's submerged in the water again you don't lose voltage from this piece of all thread or anything else that's going to be in the water. So we're going to give it a dunk and give it a test with uh, about 25 amps and we'll turn this around so we can get the negative to the back. These positive terminals connected to my ammeter. The negative terminal is connected to the, just directly to the battery. And here we go. And there we are at about 25 amps. Pretty good production. You can see there's hydrogen and oxygen coming off of all the gaps, even the big ones. And since we're not hooked up to an alternator, we're losing amperage. We're down to about 20, 20 amps right now. Production's pretty good. I'm satisfied.